Hi, thanks for being in a new video. During the Mobile World Congress, Xiaomi also presented the Xiaomi Smart Band 8 Pro and the Xiaomi Pad 6S Pro. In this video, Mr. Pablo, who has traveled all the way to Barcelona to cover the event, is going to share with us the main specifications of these models, so join me to meet them. Let's get started. Hello, Isa. I send you greetings from here, from Barcelona. Greetings also here to the audience that sees us. We are at the presentation event of the Xiaomi 14 series, but they have also presented a new tablet and a new smart band. So let's meet her quickly. So it is, well look, here we have the band. It comes in different presentations. The truth is that they are all very nice, but it would be useless if they do not work well. And fortunately, in this case, they all work very well. One issue with watches and bands is that sometimes to sleep can be a little uncomfortable to have them on the wrist and such, but in this I do not think that is the case because it has a thickness of just 9.9 millimeters with 22.5 grams of weight. And here in the hand you can see that what weighs the most is just the strap, which is like metal and this other version is like leather, I imagine. I do not know if it is genuine leather, but it feels very good, it feels very comfortable. Here you can see the lightness of the device, which is practically nothing. I imagine that when you sleep or day to day, you will not notice that you are wearing it. Honestly, it looks very good. But if you are also worried about how long it will last, or if it is resistant, you can be calm because it has Gorilla Glass to protect the glass, and to be able to submerge it has the certification of five atmospheres. That is, you can even go swimming, not only to bathe, to swim, you can dive to a maximum depth of 50 meters and this little band will withstand all that without any problem. Fortunately, the screen looks very good. Since it is AMOLED of 1.74 inches, you have enough space to be able to see your notifications, to be able to answer calls. And now we have it with the maximum brightness to be seen under the sun. I think it will be enough. You will not distinguish as in a more expensive watch, but it is an economic device, which in this case has a price of only 69 euros. But come on, Isa, say your thing. The prices here are not the same as those over there. Let's wait to see how soon it arrives in Mexico. Surely it will continue to maintain a very attractive and economical price as we are accustomed to the Redmi brand. But the models we saw a while ago are not the only ones out there. We also see in these bands very typical and above all very comfortable. These for sports, for exercise. So that sweat does not irritate your skin. The truth comes very well. And we have interchangeable bands. This is very good. We just press a button and it comes out so easy. The truth is a very simple system, but also has the universal system of any watch. So you will not have to buy these accessories Xiaomi Force, but you can buy some other watch or use another band of a watch that you already have and that you like a lot. Well, this has been what the band is. Let's now meet the tablet, which also looks very interesting. Well, look, Isa, here we have the tablet. The truth is very large. This for watching videos, for watching movies, for doing homework, for playing games. The truth is that it is excellent. We have 12.4 inches, as the name suggests, with a ratio of 3 to 2. This type of ratio is usually focused more on work, on productivity, and not so much on gaming, but of course, you could do it. We have a 3K resolution that means that the smallest texts are going to be seen in a very sharp and very clear way. In addition to that, it has an update rate of 144 hertz. This is going to give us very fluid movements. As we can see, the truth is that everything looks very nice and very fluid on this device. Something that is extremely positive is that in specification says that we have six speakers, which of course will give us a very immersive sound, both for movies and games, which comes to truth very, very well. We will have to put it to the test. Although, although the processor is not the most focused to play, of course, you could do it because it has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, a processor that I do not know to you, Isa, but I really loved it. I think it's wonderful, one of my favorites without a doubt, so the heaviest games here are going to run very smoothly without any problem. And thanks to the large size it has, it's also going to have good heat dissipation. Hopefully, we can test it and we'll check this in its review. For connectivity, we will have Wi-Fi 7, which is the most current version, so you will not have any problem downloading files when playing. There will be very little latency and high stability. And of course, having such a large size, you need a battery that big. And we have 10,000 milliamps, which of course will be more than enough for your day-to-day -day activities. Also for charging, in this case, is connected, has a power of 120 watts. This we had not seen so recent in Xiaomi phones. 
some time ago there were more devices with this load, but fortunately for this tablet has returned, so these 10,000 milliamps are going to charge very, very fast. And as you may have already noticed, so we have Hyper OS, the new Xiaomi operating system that really promises a lot. It looks very attractive, has many functions. And hopefully they have finally fixed the issue of bugs because it was the only thing or the little we could criticize Xiaomi. Hopefully they have already resolved it. As you may have noticed, it also has its accessory, which is called Xiaomi Focus Pen. The truth looks very good. It feels responsive. You don't see any lag or anything like that. We have two buttons in this case. Let's see what they can be used for. We can take screenshots in a quick and easy way. And when editing it, of course, we can colorize it. We can scratch. We can also erase the stroke we have done and many other functions that are sure to be very useful with this Xiaomi stylus. As we can see, the stroke does not carry so much latency. It feels very natural. It does not feel like it goes cut. It recognizes the strokes well, so it seems that it will give us a good experience. And as you may have seen during the video, it also has a keyboard accessory. Here is the mouse responding perfectly. You can see it on your screen. With which we will be able to control the entire interface. We will be able, of course, to enter text Isa Marcial. Although it doesn't have a lot of travel, it feels quite comfortable typing. And the keyboard is also not so noisy and not so quiet. I would say that is in an average noise. And as you see, it responds very, very well. The only thing I see a little bad about the trackpad is that it is very, very small. I do not know if it will be enough to select some texts or to move some things because the truth is that it is a very, very, very small space. Although the click, the truth feels good, it does not feel a simple click or ugly. It is a click, quite really nice to work on this tablet. And here we also find a device that they did not present yesterday, which is the Xiaomi Pad 6 Max. 14 inches of pure power. It is a really very large tablet, looks very nice, very well. It has a resolution 2.8K with the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, which although it is not the latest, it is still a really wonderful processor. And compared to the newly introduced Xiaomi Pad 6S Pro that already had six speakers, which is very good, this device has eight speakers. Wow, I do not want to imagine how good this must sound when watching movies. Well, no doubt they are very interesting devices. Tell me, Isa, what did you think of the tablet? I think it's very good with that processor for games and the smart band is very good that already supports Bluetooth calls. But well, what do you think of it? Xiaomi definitely needed to launch a tablet a little more powerful and larger because so far their tablets were more compact and honestly its operating system looked like a stretched cell phone. It seems that with Hyper OS they have improved this. According to what I have seen it allows you to open up to four windows. So I think they are improving little by little. Also their integration with the cell phone I think is evolving and the wristband is also evolving. So I think Xiaomi has reached a good level of maturity in several of its products because even though for a long time Xiaomi had a lot of variety, you didn't really notice mature devices. I think in this generation we are starting to see a good level of maturity. We will have to put them to the test later in a review. We hope to be able to do that content at a later date. For now, these have simply been initial glimpses of devices that look very good. But let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think? Let me know your first impressions of these devices. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you liked it, you know you can let me know. And we'll see you next time.